A young man named Max is on the roof of his house drawing the river in his sketchbook. Then his mother Molly calls him to come down and help her move their bags. She says that they'll live in a new home and it will be a new beginning in their lives. But Max jokes with her because they moved to a new house nine times before. Max then enters his bags and looks at the photo of his late father. Then he looks at the star's decoration which his father made them. When the TV is on, his mom notices that something is happening to the electricity. But she goes to sleep. And Max notices that something is coming out of his hand affecting the electrical devices. The next day, Max rides his bike and goes to school, and notices the gates of an abandoned company which his father used to work for. Then, someone calls Max on his mobile, but when he answers, an electric comes out of his hand and makes his mobile turn off. But after that, Max continues his way, and while riding the bike, he is going to crash into a car. But fortunately, he avoids it and falls to the ground. The car owner is a girl named Sophia, and she is his classmate. She asks Max if he is okay and asks him to meet her after the school. After school, Max rides the car with Sophia and they go to her home. There, Sophia repairs his bike, which was broken because of the accident. Then, Max goes home. Max meets his father's friend Miles and is having dinner with them. And we find out that Miles is the one who made Molly move and live in a new place. Place. On top of that, Miles was with Max's father when he died. And Max is annoyed because he thinks that Miles is the reason his father died. But Miles says that he tried to save his dad. At the abandoned company, something strange happens in a swimming pool. There is a light appearing in a swimming pool, and two scientists go to see what happened. They then get close to the water. But suddenly, the water molecules spread in the air, forming crystal molecules look like ice. After that, the scientists call the security, and say, that there might have been a hack in the company. Meanwhile, a strange something shows on the computer. The scientists track it and know its location, but it flees from the company. In the evening, Max searches on the internet for what killed his father. He finds some possibilities for the death of his father on the internet, like a hurricane that occurred on the day of the accident. But Max is annoyed because he can't find a convincing explanation. Then, there is something wrong happens in the computer. And Max becomes nervous because of all of this, but sees electricity coming out of his hand again. And this time, Max manages to control the electricity when he closes his hand. The next day, he goes to the woods to try his strange power on electrical devices. He is surprised surprised and excited after he knows his superpowers. At school, Max is sitting alone and drawing. Sophia tells him that she wants to meet him on a date. When Max goes home, he asks his mother about his father. Also, he says that the people in their town know more information about his father than him. On top of that, he doesn't know how his father died. Molly tells him that she wants to tell him everything, but the story is complicated, and he can't get it. When Max is overthinking, the flying object appears, and he looks at Max from afar, but Max doesn't notice. After that, Max goes to the restaurant and meets with Sophia. They get to know each other more and become friends. But as soon as Sophia gives her mobile to Max to write his number, the mobile turns off. Meanwhile, Max has a severe headache because of the flow of electricity in his body. So, he goes to the bathroom, and he feels a panic attack. He then runs to the woods quickly, and screams because of the pain. But suddenly, electricity comes out and flies toward the sky. The next day, Max wakes up, and finds burn marks on the bed sheets. Also, he finds wounds on his chest. But he feels surprised and doesn't know how this happened. Meanwhile, the flying object appears, and tells Max that his name is Steel. He then explains to Max the power he has, and says that he is there to protect him from anything. His mom hears voices in Max's room, and goes out to see what is happening. But Max hides Steel in the laundry box. After a little, Steel tells Max that he can help him, by absorbing the excess electrical energy in Max's body. Then, they go to the woods, and talk about the powers that Max has. But they see a black car, and a group of thugs coming out of it with weapons. And they are looking for Steel, to know what he consists of. But Max and Steel manage to escape and they both go away from the thugs. After a while, Max goes to school and puts Steel in his bag. But Steel makes loud noises, and makes the students wonder what is happening. After school, Max goes to an abandoned building, and Steel tells him the powers that Max has, and how to use them. Then, Max tries to find a way to use his power in a more effective way, and Steel tells him, 
that he can use his power to fight. However, Max remains happy with his strength and doesn't hear what Steel says. Now, Max knows how to use his power as he wants, and even knows how to jump very high distances. Steel then says to Max that he can unite with him. After a little, Max finds himself wearing a suit of armor like Steel, and he has flashbacks of his father for a short time. Then, Max wants to meet Miles and tells him about what is happening to him. On his way, he meets Sophia, and they are talking to each other. But he notices the black car again. So, he runs away quickly. And Sophia doesn't understand what's going on. After that, Max goes to a narrow corridor. And tells Steel that they must separate and stay away from each other. When Max walks out of the corridor, Sophia goes to him. He doesn't say anything to her, and asks her to drive him to the abandoned company. On their way, they talk to each other. And Max talks about his suffering as a child because of his father's death. Then, they go to the company building. Meanwhile, Miles welcomes Max and Sophia, and Max begs him to tell him what happened to his father. But Miles doesn't talk about anything. Suddenly, Max feels a headache again because of the flow of electrical energy in his body. So, he quickly goes away from the building, and leaves Sophia there alone. But Sophia doesn't understand what's going on with Max. Then, the night comes over Max. The wind moves quickly, and it seems that something will form. So, Max hides under the train. At that moment, he sees a woman screaming because of the hurricane, and her car stops suddenly. But Max runs and helps her. He gets electricity from his body, and makes the car's battery work again. Then, he hides in a garage of cars, but the garage is flying in the air, and Max becomes under the hurricane again. It seems that the hurricane is an alien, and it knows how to control winds and water. We find out that this alien is the one who killed Max's father, and now it wants to kill Max. But fortunately, Steel goes to Max quickly and they unite. Steel then tells Max how he can fight the alien. Max knows how he can use his power with Steel, and they manage to kill the alien. But when the alien falls from the sky, Max gets close to him, and finds that he looks like Steel. Steel tries to explain and tells him, that this alien is one of the evil aliens in the space, and that he was fighting them with his father. But Max doesn't believe him. Then, Max becomes far away from him and walks alone. After that, he goes to Sophia's house, and take her mobile phone and rubber gaskets to isolate his hand from the electricity. Then, Max drives her car and calls Miles. Max says that he is worried about the armed people who are coming out, and is worried about his mother Molly, because he doesn't know where she is. Meanwhile, Miles says that the armed people may take Molly to the lab, where Max's father was working. After that, Max goes there, and sees Steele's operating system. At that moment, Max has flashbacks of his father's death when the lab was under attack by aliens, and that his father had the same strength as Max. On top of that, his father was in a device that was made to focus the energy for him, while he was fighting the aliens. But Miles was belonging to the aliens, and he took a chance when Max's father was in the device, Miles then pulled his power from him. After this, Max's father died. Then, Max knows that Miles wants to do the same with him. Meanwhile, Miles is united with an alien, and wears an armor. He fights with Max in the room, where the energy focus device that Max's father made. When Max tries to control Miles' suit with his power, he fails. So, Max enters the focusing device, and he is uniting with Steel again. Then, Max becomes strong than before, and fights with Miles. The armed people enter, but they help Max. And it seems Molly assigned them to protect Max. After that, Max gathers his power and deploys it in Miles' suit, causing him to explode. And Max wins the battle. They wake up after all of this, and became very exhausted. Then, Molly sees them, and it seems she knows Steel for a long time, and is happy that her son and Steel are still alive. We then find out that Max's father was an alien, but in a human form. And Molly explains to her son everything that happened in her past. She tells him that the aliens wanted to kill Max all the time, after they knew his location. Because of this, Molly was always moving with Max from one place to another. Max knows more about his father's past when he turns on the energy in the stars in the ceiling of his room. He finds that they weren't just decorations. The stars show three maps of space, and Max knows the planet planet his father used to live in. After a while, Max goes to Sophia to say sorry to her, for walking away without any explanation. He tells her that he was always used to living alone, and thanks her for being close to him. Then, 
he gives her a portrait that he drew before for her, and they agree to meet on a date. After that, Max walks and unites with Steel, and they fly together over the river. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.